In this video, I'm going to be talking about symbols. For now, let's discuss the crap. And I wanted to spend some time and talk about this symbolism, talk about this symbols. Uh, meat that is so delicious, so tasty, so tender, um, so fresh, and very, very healthy for you, but it does have its little pinchers that can pinch, which if you go to the grocery store anyway, they would cut them off, or put, well, not cut them off, but put tape on them, so if you were to prepare them, if you were to take a cookbook by um, look at Julia Child's cookbook and try to um, follow <laughs> uh, her directions, hopefully, or just experiment and attempt it at preparing crab, then, you know, what kills them off is boiling them in hot water. Um, but this crab, um, you know, this means. So let's talk about the symbol of the crab. And yes, I'm going to be very, very creative, hopefully, um, when I'm talking about this. So there may be some things to it. <laughs> so the crab. So, you know, let's just say that you were going to, I don't know, the Florida beach and you were walking along and you were very, um, you know, you were dressed in beach clothing. It was all um, multicolored. You were very uh, relaxed in your uh, relaxed and cool clothing. You were, you know, very excited. Um, you were very pumped up. You're ready for a day. Just the clothes feel uh, so wonderful on you. You're ready to go and, you know, jump in the waves and, um, lay in the sand or, you know, read a novel and chill. Um, and you get to this beach when the sun is shining and the clear, uh, what are called, maybe they are lemonade clouds. And if you didn't know, lemonade clouds is my metaphor, which means clouds, um, it, because it gets very humid in the summertime. Uh, and so that humidity and moisture creates, you know, a certain look to the clouds and with the sun shining, uh, as well with, with this moisture and heat, um, and that stickiness, uh, that sticky weather, um, you know, that those conditions, um, those elemental conditions outside, it can, uh, look like the color of lemonade as if the clouds have lemonade in them and they can be very very puffy and almost like you know cotton candy or uh, animated um like so that is why i call them lemonade clouds so um <clears throat> now you're seeing a crab this is the point this is what i wanted to talk about so you're seeing this crab on the beach and the crab um, pulls something from the shore and grabs hold of it, grabs hold of it, knowing and judging beforehand, um, discerning and with the mind seeing, is this the right object that I should attach onto? Will this be safe for me? Will I um, go along my path of life? feeling good in the end, feeling more secure or more insecure and afraid and all those negative emotions. And that is a huge thought, more than what a crab could probably uh, think and not mentally hurt wise. Who knows? Who knows? But um, point is, it would um, grab hold of this thing and then bury it in the sand. Like, you know, they say bury your head in the sand, kind of detach yourself and steer away from um, facing reality, facing the real world. Um, and in some <clears throat> circumstances, uh, some situations that can be, uh, can have that 
element of um, <clears throat> uh, difficulty, uh, harshness to, you, you know, who knows? Um, it's very mixed. You know, it has good and bads and ugly. <laughs> you know, all those uh, gray, black, and white areas. Too. So, anyway, both and. Both and. All and. Although, still we live in a world of many limitations, and it is these limitations which could be very, very worth considering, because this crab would bury this object in the sand, tucking it with the sand, getting on it, and really, really tucking it in and digging this hole to keep itself safe to protect it from the outside world, to protect it from all the stimulus and all of the negative actions and all of the hurts and all of the shame and all of the uh, deaths and, and disease and um, just the, just because it's very, very vulnerable. It does relate to vulnerability and sensitivity um and if you can imagine the waves washing over uh this sort of thing it wants to protect this object and itself too but from you know it's the, you know i'm sure that you've heard the saying it's us against the world you know there is a need to keep this thing safe and keep yourself safe from the waves which could be very very dangerous because it washes away and then you, you know the waves uh carry you off you know into the sea and you get carried off and then you get taken away from uh your safe place um taken away from uh your homeland and then you get yourself um into trouble and um, you put yourself in danger and in harm's way and you are lost, you are stranded, you are miserable, you are looking over the um, horizon, feeling the pangs of hunger for the homeland, feeling the pangs of real disappointment and regret in yourself for doing this thing and real fear and real powerlessness that you cannot go back to the shore and go back and have the waves just move you through up into the shore and then you connect back again. It's this sort of thing. And when when it comes to this, I think of Rapunzel. Like, I think of the mother knows best kind of thing, where she is keeping Rapunzel safe from the world in this tower. In this tower where she has very, very long blonde hair. And, well, what does she want to do if she's stuck? That she has a wonder. She has a fascination. She has a very... Uh, childlike um, curiosity and a need and a quest of wanting to go out, wanting to shoot your arrow high, wanting to explore, wanting to step over the boundaries, wanting to cross over to see those beautiful lights rise up into the sky on that night. And indeed, I'm not making that up. Um, where the comforts of the shelves and the books and the blankets and the um, you know, the daily routine sort of thing and of being in a very serene and peaceful uh, remote location um, and being locked up in this tower, you know, there is an opposite need. You know, there's a quote that goes something like, you know, when we're safe at home, we dream of a great adventure, but when we're on this great, when we're on this great adventure, we really feel homesick um, sometimes where we just want to go back home and get com comfortable and be safe and secure uh, emotionally and physically, um, you know, <clears throat> uh, as opposed to being out there and adventuring. And so one of the things about the crab with its claws is it really, really holds on to it, really wants to keep, uh, you know, because cancer uh, the sign that is um, symbolized by the crab wants to 
you know, keep its loved ones close, wants to hold on, really, really care. Like if, you know, someone gets hurt or if someone loses a job position or a wife or it's if someone gets into a car accident or um has a negative encounter with some you know whatever it is cancer will go beyond the call of duty to um be there and look after um a family and it can be very very nurturing really creating that safe space and giving all of the comforts because it's very you know because um you know although the crab wears a very hard shell and there is a sensitivity and shyness to it there is also um a softness inside you know you just have to get to know it enough to where it feels comfortable to show that um soft side um and that warm side because it's a very very warm uh uh sign uh and um Definitely during the time of year when it's uh, super sticky, like sticky rice outside. Um, and indeed, I remember two summers ago with the rain and everything. Like, you know, yeah. So that is the crab symbol and what it means. Thank you very much for watching.